Welcome to the AIM Insight e-training series presented by AIM Sports, providing support and training of your AIM Sports products when and where you want it. This module is updating firmware on the Micron 4. One of the benefits of owning an AIM Sports data logger is they are updatable with free firmware upgrades that are occasionally available. The Micron 4 is no different. This carding based product is very popular and with the optional data key is easily updated. To determine what firmware version is currently installed on your Micron 4, turn on your Micron 4 and during the startup process, the firmware version is momentarily displayed. If you miss seeing the firmware version during the startup process, select the menu button in the upper left hand corner of the Micron 4 and this menu screen will be displayed. Then use the previous or next buttons to scroll over the control panel icon. Then select the enter button in the upper right hand corner. Then scroll to the system setup icon and press enter. Then by pressing the down button, scroll to the system information item and press the enter button. This opens a page with several bits of information. Highlighted here is the model of the Micron 4 you have, in this case a Micron 4 2 temp, and the installed firmware version, in this case version 31.58.23. Also shown on this page is the serial number and in this case showing that this is a USA version of hardware. Now that you know the version of firmware on the Micron 4, you can open the www.aimsports.com website to find the latest version of all AIMSports software and firmware. To find the latest version of Micron 4 firmware in the Quick Link section of the AIMSports website, click on the Download Software hyperlink. This will open the AIMSports download page. To scroll down to the firmware upgrade, specifically the Micron 4 firmware upgrades, scroll down using the elevator bar on the right edge. Stop when you see the firmware update section. Here you can see that the current version is 31.58.26 and that it is newer than the version on our example Micron 4. You can click on the PDF file that holds the release notes by clicking on the PDF hyperlink. But we are just going to click on the current version hyperlink. Depending on your computer setup, a message similar to this may appear. You can just click on the save button and save the file onto your computer in a location that you can find again. After saving the file, we will go ahead and minimize the internet browser. Now we need to find the file that we downloaded. I saved it directly to the desktop. Here it is and to start the process, just double click on the firmware update icon. Again, depending on your computer and your setup, a message similar to this may open. Go ahead and click on the run button as the Micron 4 firmware update file is secure. This opens the update program and shows the versions of firmware updates for the Micron 4 as well as all possible attached hardware. One of the most important parts of the Micron 4 firmware update process is selecting the mode of the update. In the bottom part of this screen you have three choices on how you want the update process to work once you begin the firmware update process by plugging the data key into the back of the Micron 4. The first choice is to only update the Micron 4 if the firmware update version installed on the data key is newer than that what is on the Micron 4. This is the fairly common choice. The second choice is to always update the Micron 4 firmware regardless of the version on the data key or the Micron 4. If this choice is selected, every time you plug the key into the Micron 4, it will update or overwrite the Micron 4 firmware. And the third choice is to not update the firmware when the data key is plugged into the Micron 4. This would be your choice if you just want to download the data on your Micron 4 and not update the firmware. Let's select the option that only updates the Micron 4 if the firmware on the data key is newer than what is already installed on the Micron 4. After making the selection and making sure that the data key is plugged into your USB port on your PC, click on the proceed button. The program then warns you that any data already downloaded onto the data key will be erased as the firmware is loaded onto the key. If you have already retrieved the data from the key and are okay with the data being erased, press the yes button to move forward. Then the program begins copying the firmware update onto the data key. When the process is complete, a message will open telling you that the data key has been updated with the Micron 4 firmware. Click on the OK button to close the message and finish this part of the firmware update process. At this point, simply unplug the data key from your USB port and then plug it into the expansion port on the back side of your Micron 4. It is the port labeled EXP slash PC. 
and then turn on the Micron 4 and the firmware will be updated. The ability to update your AIM Sports products is very powerful. As new functions and enhancements are made available, the always free firmware updates are the way to keep your AIM Sports products up to date and working great. For more AIM Insight eTraining content and information about upcoming on-site training seminars, visit www.aimsports.com forward slash support, your source for support and training of AIM Sports products when and where you want it.